Hello everyone, I am Dr. Neeraj and today we will discuss about bacteriophage vectors. So without any delay, let's start the video. So before going into bacteriophage vectors, we should know that what are bacteriophage. So bacteriophages, these are the viruses which infect the bacteria. Means as the viruses infect us, so there are certain kind of viruses which can also infect the bacteria and these viruses, these are known as the bacteriophages or bacteriophages. These bacteriophages, if we look into their structure, so these are formed of two components. First is the head and another is the tail. This head is formed of the protein capsid which encloses their genetic material while this tail is formed of the protein fibrils. This, gen this genetic material, it can either be DNA or RNA, means they have nucleic acid genome. And they, this nucleic acid, in case of DNA, this DNA may either be double standard, like in case of T2, T4, T6 and lambda phase, while it may also single standard DNA, like in the case of M13 and phase 174. There are certain phases which have RNA as a genetic material also like MS2 phase. So this is about the structure of bacteriophages. Now let's take the example of bacteriophage. So here is first example is the bacteriophage lambda. This is the diagram of bacteriophage lambda. So as you clearly see it has head which is formed of the protein and enclosing its genome and it also has the tail. Now, if we look into the genome, so the genome of lambda phase, it is consists of double standard DNA molecule of the length 48.5 kb or 48502 base pairs. And this, beside this double standard DNA molecule, there are some or you can say that 12 base pairs that are single standard on both of 5 dash and 3 dash ends and these unpaired bases or the ends which have these unpaired these 12 unpaired bases that end is known as cohesive or cos ends and these cohesive and cos ends they help in the circularization of this dna molecule now if we look into the life cycle of this lambda phase so it generally follow two types of life cycle lysogenic or lytic in case of lysogenic life cycle this phase it do not kill its host or you can say do not kill the bacteria e coli it generally integrate its genome into the bacterial genome and replicate along with the bacterial dna means it do not kill its host but it live within its host, host by integrating its genome into the host genome and in case of this lytic pathway it ultimately kill its host cell and produce new phase particles or new lambda phases so what is difference between these two lysogenic and lytic cycle in lysogenic it insert its genome into the bacterial genome and replicate with the bacterial genome while in case of lytic cycle when it follows the lytic cycle so it ultimately kill the bacterial cell and it makes its new phases so it follows two kind of life cycle that is lysogenic or lytic life cycle so if we look into the lambda phase vectors or the vector which are based on lambda phase so there can be insertional vector so what we did in case of insertion vector, we insert our DNA into the non-essential region of this lambda phase. Because this vector it generally has one unique restriction site, like here this C1 point, it represent the restriction site for eco R1. What we did, we just cleave with eco R1 and create the space for the DNA insert. And now we can insert our DNA which is generally 0 to 10 kb between this space and which ultimately gives us the insertional vector. 
सो एग्जाम्पल ऑफ दिस काइंड ऑफ वैक्टर दे जनरली इंक्लूड लेमडा जी टी वैक्टर लाइक लेमडा जी टी टेन इलेवन एटीन एंड सो ऑन एंड सेकेंड इज लेमडा जैप इलेवन विच टेक्स अप टू टू टेन के बी ऑफ डी एन ए सेकेंड काइंड ऑफ वैक्टर विच आर बेस्ड ऑन लेमडा फेज दीज आर रिप्लेसमेंट वैक्टर सो वट इट वट वी डिड इन दिस केस जनरली इन केस ऑफ वाइल्ड टाइप लेमडा वी हैव द लीनियर जिनोम विच हैव को साइट्स एट दी बोथ हैंड्स एंड इन केस ऑफ रिप्लेसमेंट वैक्टर वी रिप्लेस अ नॉन इसेंशियल पार्ट विच इज नोन एज द स्टफर फ्रेगमेंट दिस इज दैट पार्ट विच इज नॉट रिक्वायर्ड फॉर द लेमडा फेज फॉर लिटिक साइकिल सो वट वी डिड वी रिप्लेस दिस स्टफर फ्रेगमेंट विद आवर डी एन ए इंसर्ट विच इज शोन हेयर इन द रेड कलर so we replace the stuffer fragment and insert our dna in the place of this stuffer fragment so we are ultimately replacing the stuffer fragment with our dna so that's why we are creating the replacement vector and example of this kind of vector they include like this em lambda embl series lambda zem 11 lambda zem 12 lambda dash and lambda fix so these are the example which are based on lambda replacement vector now the next example of phase is m13 phase it is a filamentous rod shaped phase and its genome is of 6.4 kb and single stranded genome it in fact the e coli bacteria when it replicate so it replication form is double stranded but its genome when it is in the head of the phase it is you can say it is single stranded now this m13 vector these are generally used when we want to obtain the single strand copies of our dna and this you can say this m13 is a very important phase whenever we want the single stranded copies of our dna now what are the vectors which are based on this m13 phase so first example is m13 mp1 so what it is in this case like this is the m13 phase genome here the origin of replication is ori is the origin of replication so in order to make m13 mp1 what we did we ligate the lac z site into its genome and now it can be called as m13 mp1 vector means it has lac z which is a gene which code for the enzyme beta galactosidase and this gene help in the identification of वेक्टर और होस्ट विच कंटेन दिस वैक्टर सेकेंड एग्जाम्पल ऑफ वैक्टर बेस्ड ऑन एम थर्टीन इज एम थर्टीन एम पी टू वैक्टर विच इज दू कैन सी एक्सटेंशन ऑफ एम थर्टीन एम पी वन इन दिस केस वी जस्ट एड और वी जस्ट यू कैन से वी बाय द इनविट्रोमीटर जेनेस वी जस्ट एड द रिस्ट्रिक्शन साइट फॉर द इको आर वन एनजाइम सो दिस इज नाउ कॉल्ड एज एम थर्टीन एम पी टू वैक्टर next is m13 mp7 so here in this case it is also the extension of m13 mp2 we add more restriction sites in this lac z gene and this is generally done with the help of polylinker so oh, what is polylinker polylinker is a you can say it is a nucleotide or short nucleotide sequence which contain restriction sites for many enzyme like for eco r1 bam h1 sal1 pst1 etc and this polylinker it also has sticky ends so it is it can integrate into this lac z gene and create the restriction site like here this polylinker can be incorporated into the lac z gene and ultimately it create the restriction sites or these are the sites which were in the polylinker like for eco r1 bam h1 so this is now known as m13 mp7 vector so this was about the bacteriophage its life cycle like lysogenic or lytic cycle lambda phase and m13 phase and the vector which are based on the m13 and this lambda phase bacteriophage so that's all for today guys see you in the next video thank you very much